general relativity is essentially a relativistic formulation of the gravitational force. When Einstein stumbled upon special theory of relativity, he realized that nothing can move faster than the speed of light. Before that, before Einstein formulated his special theory of relativity, the physicists had a relatively simpler time. Physicists believe that space, the three-dimensional space is one entity, while time is an absolute uh, entity and two-way separate. So one could humorously paraphrase Rudyard Kipling's uh, poem and say that, oh, space is space and time is time, never the twin shall mix. Soon after, special theory of relativity was formulated, Einstein's teacher, he realized that uh, time and space are not separate entity, but Einstein's special theory of relativity, it actually mixes them. So, when we can paraphrase the whole thing as Einstein, after giving his special theory of relativity, saying that, oh yeah, their mix is no longer a jinx, for I have Minkowskian pick fix, because it was his mathematical physics teacher, Minkowski, who reformulated Einstein's special theory of relativity in which space and time became one entity. And here we have Einstein as a patent clerk in 1905 giving three papers which have immortalized his work. So what is Einstein's theory of relativity? The basic gist of his theory is that after all whenever we look at nature we always see sequence of events and every event corresponds to a point in the space-time manifold. The space-time coordinates like the three spatial coordinates and one time coordinate that characterizes where and when the event happened the space-time coordinates are just labels of the event. You are free to choose what labels you wish to describe the event. And in theory of relativity, the space-time merge together as a four-dimensional world or a four-dimensional manifold. And here is a cartoon which portrays Einstein pointing out the great change in the concept of time by his pendulum that is a marker of time. Now, in special theory of relativity, the speed of light in vacuum is a fundamental constant. What does it mean? It means that supposing I am in a frame of reference and I sh switch on a torch and the light beam comes out of the torch and I measure the speed of light, then the speed which I measure will be exactly, the value will be exactly the same as a person who is sitting in a train and moving relatively with high velocity with respect to me if he measures the speed of light. The other key concept which special theory of relativity tells us as if there are two events that happened at two different space spatial points, then if in my reference frame, the two events happen at the same time that then in another reference frame which is moving with respect to me, the two events don't happen at the same time. That means the concept of now is not absolute. Two events can be taking place now for me, but for another frame of reference, the two events need not be simultaneous. So, in we can illustrate this with this uh, picture. Supposing this carriage is moving with a speed v with respect to a stationary observer and there is another carriage which is at rest with respect to the stationary observer. Supposing the two light here goes off 
at the same time as measured by the stationary observer, the person who is sitting at, standing at the middle, she will also see that the two lamps were, have been switched on at the same time. But because the other lady is moving with respect to the stationary observer with the velocity v, the light coming from this bulb will reach, us, uh, reach her first, while the light from the rear end will reach later. But because she is sitting in the middle, she will say that this event happened before the other event. Because speed of light is same for both of them, according to special theory of relativity. So the notion of simultaneity is not at all absolute in special theory of relativity. The other thing which special relativity tells us that anything which has mass can never move faster than the speed of light in vacuum. Why is that? We'll have to come back. Because according to special theory of relativity, the mass of a moving object is nothing but its rest mass divided by square root of 1 minus v square by c square where v is the velocity of the moving mass. So as you can see, as the velocity increases, the rest mass of course is fixed, but the mass of the moving object keeps on increasing. And as you can see in this graph, as the speed goes to the, reaches the speed of light, the mass for a moving object goes to infinity. So the rest mass may be, rest mass of an object is constant, but mass of a moving object which is moving the speed v as measured in the frame, rest frame, that mass is very large. We have to go back. One of the surprising result which comes out of special theory of relativity that if there is a clock carried by a person who is moving with respect to the stationary observer, then the stationary observer will measure that the time moving, time in the moving clock is going at a slower rate. This is called the time dilation. So for example, if I am moving with respect to you, I might say that my talk on relativity is one hour in duration, but you will start yawning because for you, the talk will be much more than one hour. Then we can go forward. 